substitution. First, we can substitute the budget constraint into the utility function. Using algebra, we can rewrite the budget constraint as q sub 1 equals open parentheses capital Y minus p sub 2 times q sub 2 close parentheses over p sub 1. If we substitute this expression for q sub 1 in the utility function, capital U of q sub 1 and q sub 2, we can rewrite Lisa's problem as max q sub 2 of uh, capital U of open parentheses capital Y minus p sub 2 times q sub 2 over p sub 1 and q sub 2 close parentheses. Uh, equation 16 or problem 16 is an unconstrained problem so we can use the standard maximization techniques to solve it. The first order condition is obtained by setting the derivative of the utility function with respect to the only remaining control variable q sub 2 equal to 0. The derivative of utility with respect to q sub 2 equals the partial derivative of utility with respect to q sub 1 multiplied by the derivative of q sub 1 with respect to q sub 2 plus the partial derivative of utility with respect to q sub 2 equals open parentheses negative p sub 2 over p sub 1 close parentheses multiplied by the partial derivative of q of utility with respect to q sub 1 plus the partial derivative of utility with respect to q sub 2 equals open parentheses minus p sub 2 over p sub 1 close parentheses multiplied by uh, capital U sub 1 plus capital U sub 2 equals 0 equation 3.17 where the partial derivative of utility with respect to q sub 1 is utility of 1 or capital U sub 1 is the partial derivative of the utility function with respect to q sub 1 open parentheses the first argument close sub 1 and the derivative of q sub 1 with respect to q sub 2 is the derivative of q sub 1 equals open parentheses capital Y minus p sub 2 times q sub 2 close parentheses over p sub 1 with respect to q sub 2. By rearranging these terms in equation 3.17, we get the same condition for an optimum that we obtained using a graphical approach, equation 3.13, which is that the marginal rate of substitution equals the marginal rate of transformation, superscript 12, which reads, had we substituted for q sub 2 instead of 4 q sub 1, open parentheses, which you should do to make sure that you understand how to solve this type of problem, close parentheses, we should, we would have obtained the same condition. Returning to the text, capital M, capital R, capital S, which is the marginal rate of substitution equals the negative ratio of utilities, which is negative capital U sub 1 over capital U sub 2 equals the negative ratio of prices which is the negative p sub 1 over p sub 2 equals capital M capital R capital T, which is the marginal rate of transformation. To be sure that we have a maximum, we need to check that the second order condition, second order conditions hold. See the calculus appendix. These conditions hold if the utility function is quasi-concave, which implies that the indifference curves are convex to the origin. The capital M, capital R, capital S, the marginal rate of substitution, is diminishing as we move down and to the right uh, along the curve. If we combine the marginal rate of substitution equals the marginal rate of transformation, the first order condition, we, uh, with the budget constraint, we have two equations and two 
into unknowns, q sub 1 and q sub 2. So we can solve for the optimal q sub 1 and q sub 2 as functions of prices, p sub 1 and p sub 2, and income capital Y.